evil creature of the night, killer of mouse and other vermins. Ha, gotcha! Ha ha! You can't flee away from me! You can't! <laughs> to debug, we'll install the very latest Arduino Sluber. Um, That'll be, as I'm here, that'll be the one I need. So we have him here now extracted. Now we'll extract him to the test folder. Oh. <laughs> Apparently the test folder is not empty <laughs> so we'll delete these two <laughs> and wait for it to start up and install. So we'll do a first zero because uh, I never made a um, a video about uh, zero debugging. So we'll install this one. Okay, so now sum is installed. So it is standard zero. Uh, demo. We're picking the uh, Arduino Sunday. We're picking the zero, the standard zero, the programming port. And it's connected to my machine. It is. Um, we're taking a sample and I'm mostly taking the blink without delay because that's much better than blink so we compile this one so blink without delay here we have it yeah, there is no Arduino.h in here, so it gives some errors here. Huh. But that's not important. The build is fine. It's fine, it uploads. So 
so. Uh, so I think this has been successful. Yeah, it should be blinking. I don't quite see it. Anyway, um, so this is the standard and now we're going to debug this one. So to do that, we need to install other hardware. As you can see, we now have here package Yantje index JSON, which comes default. If you have a list already here, it will not be in here, but you can always click restore defaults, copy it, click cancel, or find it on GitHub. It's just GitHub direct link. And that one is responsible for here. And here's someday 1.0. So now we're installing ports, which is actually nothing really, um, except for the compile commands. So we're going to make a new configuration. We call it the hardware debug. Okay, it's going to set it active. Okay, we change here to hardware debug and we pick Yantje Sunday Genuino hardware debug. See here also the you only have the programming board port because that's the one you need for uh, debugging. So we apply and close this one. Now we verify it again. Now you see you have here release and hardware debug. Here is the code that is debuggable. And here is the production release code. So it's compiling. You see here minus OG, which indicates debugging and stuff like that. So uh, we can upload that one now again. It worked again. And now we're going to debug. Doing debug as. Uh, no, we first need to, this is a one time activity. Uh, we need to set a setting here. We're using GNU ARM here for debugging. And I need to take a look at what the exact command is. Um, hardware. Thank you. Sunday. So the readme contains the so Windows preferences run the work open OCD set executable open XP set path oh that could be probably with uh, you can't use environment and variables here so that should be C test slower so that's the folder that it normally is in okay now we go to debug as debug configurations we select a hdb open odbc we click new launch configuration uh, zero demo Project Zero Demo Elf, but we need the hardware to pick one. Okay. We also sell him that he actually needs hardware to book. Um, then the debugger. Oops, it's here. I can take set as config options for open OCD. Conf 
config options for open OCD. That's it. And for GDB set. GDB. And that's it. Apply. Debug. So he now proposes to go to the debug thingy. Say yes to debug stuff. And here we are in main init. And you can use these things here to step through and resume, uh, step into and step over, which is the ones I use uh, on my uh, keyboard. But what we will do is here in loop, we will set here a breakpoint. So we go and we do F6 here. So now we're really debugging hardware, debugging already on the on the zero. So current media is, is one, uh, six, F8, F6, still one, and so on, and so on, and so on. So um, let's put a breakpoint here. Okay, let's first step into milis so we can see. You see here, you and click count, you get. Okay, let's go a bit here and oops, turn this breakpoint off. Ah, oh, come on. Toggle breakpoint. Okay, now we are here. Uh, previous melee is, is zero, current melee is, is thousand, and interval is also one thousand. So current melee is thousand, min zero is equal to interval. So he jumps in here. Now pre previous melee is current melee. Let's step over this one. Let's date. Let's date, and then we do dig it to right. So let's step into digital right. So now here you are in the Arduino core stuff. Oops. This is uh, nothing really I understand. But so next time he comes here, which is a second later, uh, current milis should be. 2000, previous milis is 1000, and so we go on. So that's how you debug hardware debug to zero. It's as easy as that. And to disconnect, you go here. Of course, there's lots of features with breakpoints and you can have options on these breakpoints uh, and uh, the breakpoint properties is called you can do all kinds of things which is standard as soon as you get it running you have the full GDB standard functionality this is only explaining you how you can get it running okay that's it Thank you and thank to all my patrons for supporting me. I hope you start supporting me too because I really need it. Bye.